want to think that all this you are existing is just real. Mm. It is not. A lot of what they call propaganda technology is being put to work. And experts are used to, prog to propagate negative campaigns in order to make him look as a devil. Our passenger went to a very, very trusted leader. But I can never support him on the issue of presidency against Tinobu. Tinobu will finish his term, he will run another term. Nothing will happen in Nigeria. This war song that has been drawn over will never work. I don't want us to start engaging in negative campaigns. Let us rally around Tinobu. Let us make our contribution. Tell your man, Obi to present his own idea so the government instead of blackmailing and talking rubbish of the government. National disaster that we call it because, because Nigerians are not disciplined. They are not ready to do the right thing. They want to hit above their income. You are not ready to live between the level of your income. You are here. If you go to the restaurant now, you want the best meat. Is that cooking your house? Your, your, your days, I mean, your old days was years of hard work in those days. I mean, it was available to go to I mean, what is the power that kept you still strong to today politically, especially in Ocean State? God, He gave me everything. He gave me money. He gave me people. He gave me love. He taught me. I have to be able to decide. Nobody will come into my house crying that we go back crying. Yeah. Denied of the assistant that made him cry. Let us rule our country, not dance around the white man to teach us what to do. Let us apply our own cultural heritage into our administration and bring back our traditional rulers to be active in governance of our society. I want to tell you that we just have to put to rest this bitterness, this honesty. If I don't get it, I destroy it. attitude to politics. We must, all of us, come together, accept one result, and work together. Well, it's another very lovely, wonderful day in the city of Ibado, or your state. It's called the biggest city in Western Nigeria and probably in West Africa. Yes, today is Wednesday, the 20th day of March, year 2024. 
and we are very very lucky to meet a great man a man of impeccable achievement in politics in media business in pr strategy and uh, international relation a man who has seen it all a man who knows so much about his people his culture and the perspective of different nations across the world uh, we met him several years ago and he gave a prediction especially in year 2019 when he predicted accurately that in 2023 that Ibrahim Badamasi Babangida or Bola Ahmed Tinubu, Chief Bola Ahmed Tinubu are going to pull off a surprise and uh, that prediction was almost like a joke. Then few months to the election in 2023, he came boldly and he predicted that uh, Chief Bola Ahmed Tinubu is going to win the election among the three contestant of Atiku Abubakar in PDP and uh, obedient Peter will be in Labour Party and when the thing was so dicey everybody was not too happy a lot of people in the obedient party said no he told us that if Tinubu is not going to win for anything he's going to win because of the three years he spent in his mother's womb and that he's going to use the authority of that three years to make Bola Ahmed Tinubu to become president of Nigeria <music> have a commitment which I am decided to fight and surely winning for my admired candidate for the next state of Oshu, which is occupied by a gentleman of great value and I want him to remain there to continue and finish his 80 years and I have to do it as I do it before you like you know I don't lose election I don't fail election and I have to put into work all those tricks I have used to win so many past elections. I have to, you know, today, the old fashion, the new fashion. And I have to work very hard to put both together so that my candidate will be happy and I'll be happy at the end of the elections. I have just gone to Abuja just to see and work towards the success of uh, my governor in Oshun, and uh, I am very, very desperately involved in ensuring that Tinubu becomes the next president. <laughs> well, that's, that's a very tall he order. Looked, he, looked, he looks tough. That's a tall Whenever order. I decide and well, I speak I, to my God, he grants me the privilege of making my dreams come true. You, have, you, you know my past. I don't feel elections. And I pray to God, God speaks to me before I do anything. And with, this, with, 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 with my communication with my God, I will not fail. So my candidates will not fail. fail. Mm. And I will do everything humanly possible. I want to see what they are doing in that party. They are, they, they are met in Ubu group. I've, I've, I have a lot of friends among them, like Tony Adifuye, a lot of them are my good friends, and I find them there. But for me, Ahmed Tunubu is a very wonderful, respectful. I've had one and a half talk with him in my life. Uh, there's no other way of talking. And I have decided to help, and if we win this election, no matter, I am telling you, I say this every time when I'm in a party, and I get to see it won. Hmm. So don't be surprised. Tinubu will win this election. No? Let us ride it down together. Let Nigeria work together. There's a lot of gain in Tinubu's victory. He's going to change Nigeria. Look, for example, Lagos State. Lagos State. Tinubu is the architect of the development and the progress made in Lagos. Tell me another governor in Nigeria, apart from uh, Jack and the that has done what Tinubu has done for Lagos State. Or how he has helped to promote a lot of our people in Lagos State. Help them up. Now Lagos State is the best state in governance. And that is the footprint of 
Tinubu and Jakande. Of course. We have an egalitarian society. We have a state that have been modernized in terms of infrastructures. It's growing. Even some of the roads are still bad. There are still things that people complain about. So how do you think one can sell the candidacy of Bola Ahmed Tinubu, especially with someone like your great friend, General Basanjo? His body language does not suggest that he supports it. Because at that time, the only of people said, everybody, oh, that's what you need. That you are spoken to Obasan General Basanjo, only for General Basanjo to go to the palace and say, KBC, please don't endorse anybody. Your role is not to endorse a particular person. Your role is to pray for everybody that comes to your palace. That I have not endorsed anybody. I didn't tell you that I endorsed anybody. So if General Basanjo, have you been able to confirm with him if he's in tandem with where you are going now, sir, with Bola Ahmed Tinubu? General Basanjo is a clean heart, loyal heart to the society. He will never tell you support this or don't support that. He will tell anybody do this. I want to do that. He will call. Yeah, yeah, at this age of 80, I am good enough with my years of politics in Nigeria to be able to think what is good for me and what is all good for me. What is good for the society? I will always remain a good friend of Baba Obasanjo. He's my friend. I do anything for him. But what I'm telling you, the the, the, the society is so bad that what they like to see is the bad side of human beings. They don't look at the good side of the thing. How many people are talking against Obasanjo? Such a wonderful leader of Nigeria, the world leader. If he comes up today, they will say more things than what they are saying of uh, Tinubu. But let us, for once, if we unite within ourselves, to bring a good candidate. Our lawyer came up, we supported him, and uh, Akintola came up, he enjoyed his little time, but not without bickering. A lot of uh, disagreements, the blackmail, that's the work of Yoruba, some of the Yoruba people. If you say Tinubu is not good, who is good? A few months after Tinubu became president, he came to Lagos for a small meeting, and were able to meet him at Excellence Hotel and he reiterated the prophecy and he said yes, he has said it and the man has won and he gave us assurance. Even though Nigerians are crying right now, there are a lot of things, hardship, you know, the Congo of Gary has become so expensive, bread has been out of the reach of the poor, even rice that is food, staple for common people, is now almost like a golden fleece. But I'm happy to introduce High Chief Abiola Akimpenu Abiono Ogudoku the Jagun Party of the Source, Ileife, the Akpesion Law of Eri Oshun in Oshun State, and the Oban Law of Iwo Kingdom. He's also the Basharu Muslimi of Iwo Kingdom. He's a man with large heart, a friend of the Christian, a friend of the Muslim, a friend of the traditional worshipper, a friend of Nigerian, and a friend of the foreigner. So I'm very happy to be with you today. Thank you very so much. You're welcome. Sir. Yes, it's challenging meeting you since in the last 48 hours you've been so busy. Uh, this is 2024. Your man is still the president, commander in chief. How do you feel with what Nigerians are saying right now, sir? What they are saying is like uh, they are not looking back to history. And most nations of the world, what they have gone through before they still true to what their present situation is. America was like a slave to Britain. America has taken over the world and Britain is like a servant to America for some time now. Mm. Uh, and it took so many years that America was under Britain being used. Mm. They eventually found their way out and have become one of the most, the most powerful country of the world economically. Mm. They are owing money, they don't have money. America is not rich. It's one of the poorest countries of the world. You mean United States of America, sir? Yes, they owe money more than any most major countries of the world. They are in debt. You don't think America. You know, the trouble we have, the trouble we have is that they, they caused the world to accept dollar as the world currency. 
That has brought about so much funds kept under the covers of America. And I'm sure Britain is equally suffering for it. And that's why you see countries like China, Soviet Union are dying wanting to opt out of their currency, American currency for use over the world. Hmm. You see, what we are going through, nearly all the major countries have gone through it. But it's a matter of time. Today, you are complaining about Nigeria. Nigeria is even better off than many other world powers, world countries, who are living to borrow and manage their resources. Hmm. Nigeria, we have a lot of money. We are lucky that we have a lot of bad eggs that siphon our money to foreign countries. Hmm. But one thing is that we cannot continue to blame somebody who has not been part of that movement that hmm. brought us into this. Tinubu is just eight months in governance. Can you heal the disease or the sickness of 30 years in eight months? Well, we are not blaming most things on uh, Tinubu, who came in just eight months ago and has done so much. Instead of thanking him for the best he is able to put, they are castigating him and making him a scapegoat. Now, I want to ask you. Yes, sir. If you go into business, you first, it takes you time to make profit. You must work hard to make that profit. Mm. So Tinubu cannot be blamed for the war. He didn't come as a thief. He came as a contributor and he put his own money to, into making things happen rather than stealing money. We cannot but accept that we have to be tolerant and understand. Sir, that. talking about tolerance, sir, I want you to say this. Look at this. Look at this, sir. It's a party move for Gwenyo. I want you to run your jet. I look for run your jet. Cosino, Cosomi, on that you want you. Please, we are begging the Nigerian government to please assist us, the Nigerians. I got to your love. I got what they want. There is no food anywhere. Everything is very, very, very expensive. We can't buy fuel. We can't even buy rice. We, the border has to open. The palliative they are telling people that they want to give us. They should not give us any palliative. How many people are they going to give it to? They should just please open the border and make sure that they bring down the price of fuel. Lata <laughs> I came out they should not share any politics because it's only got to their people. Please open the border for us. We are begging you. Ordinary on uh, single mothers shouting. Even men who are shouting. Everybody is crying now. There are more. So are you proud that this is the man that you voted for? I am very, very proud that I voted for Tinobu. You cannot get an alternative. You know, Bu is not a poor man. He's a knowledgeable somebody. This of an 
is too much for this country. Please, if government work, if they cannot protest, we yellow like that. We go up our wires, we go up our press, we go protest. Too much suffering is too much for this country. For in but before you we step, we go suffer. The suffering is too much. Please, my job find solution for this things. It's too much. Get it two thousand naira. Since when my my father bought me, I do not buy one thousand naira pence of Gary. The selling is two thousand naira now. It's too much. The savanna is too much. Even say the rice, the rice I want rice up to one thousand two hundred naira. For what reason? Ah, uh, it's, it's too much, oh, to buy meat. We come up, come up, come up with the even the come up side dry rice up. Ah, uh, it's too fish for. People are crying. People, some people are angry. Majority of people. Everybody is okay. angry. Okay. Well, oh, right right now. There's no life oh, since no, four no. hours ago. No, Maybe it has been like that since how many years? Okay. You see the Tinubu time that it started. Okay, sir. All that was the same justice you people have perpetrated on Tinubu. How many years since when you have light in your own house? Tell me. When? We are talking of solution. What is I do, then, then, then Renew group, that is what we are saying. Tinubu is doing everything possible. That eight months is not long enough for him to solve 25 years problem. Look at it. Say Nigerians have done nothing but endure in this article. Are you there? Yes, sir. We understand that the opposition are doing everything humanly possible yes. to blackmail Tinubu's administration. When you watch and this your Igbo candidate, when you see him talk and the type of thing, that they put on against the Nobu. If you are not a, a seasoned politician, an economist, somebody who knows the, 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 the left and right of uh, uh, propaganda technology, you want to think that all this you are existing is just real. Yeah. It is not. A lot of what they call propaganda technology is being put to work. And experts are used to to propagate negative campaigns in order to make him look as a devil. Somebody just got sponsored. Sponsored, yes, it's a fund. They, they pay for it. When you listen to uh, your candidate, oh, okay, you know your candidate. Oh, you mean uh, Bolabet No, okay. you know your lawyer. Like, I bet Mutinubu is my own candidate. Oh, Yo. Candidate who sees nothing good. He has, not been, he has not been talking. He he's been talking. talking. I watch him every day. On Maybe you are day. referring to Atiku, the other no, candidate. No, that Atiku is not as worse as uh, your Igbo candidate. Okay, you mean obedient movement? Or obi, 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 obi. He has become a serious enemy of Nigeria. He's an economist. Oh, you yeah, are yeah, the talking rubbish. Which economist? If he's every good man that is a good politician, once he kind of wins an election, he becomes part of that victory. He offers all the good advices available at his disposal to make the winner successful. Yeah, but when you feel that you are cheated, when you feel that you are cheated, no, you are not cheated. Who that cheated? You won the election and the two and gave it to another person. No, who won? You will not be so no, happy. Do, why, where is the winning, uh, yeah. winning votes to make him win? He lost everywhere. Even he lost everything, and they took the to use. Uh, he won in uh, Lagos. He won in Abuja. He won in Play Two. That is your own country. That is Kano. your own blackmail country that was manufactured by the opposition. <laughs> The opposition county who have refused to follow the rule, the law, and the true results of election. I want you to learn. I am have been politics long, very many years. I know what is happening, and uh, I want to tell you that we just have to put to rest this bitterness, dishonesty, 
If I don't get it, I destroyed uh, attitude to politics. We must, all of us, come together, accept one result, and work together. If your OB has any good thing, let him write it and put it to out for Tinubu. And tell the way I told Tinubu to do this, let him not do it. Then we'll be able to tell Tinubu is not doing what is good. But Tinubu is doing everything possible, fighting for you. He spent his money. He fought for you. He been, he's been fighting corruption. You people are blackmailing him. He does not he does not take money from any of you. You think he's fighting corruption accurately, sir? He's fighting corruption. Think of how many people have been arrested and put into prosecution. What, what, what did he want? He wanted to put everybody to jail. He has to do it gradually. He's been arresting people. So nobody is good in Nigeria. Everybody that becomes a president is a devil. That is the position of most of you that are in our position. <laughs> when mainstream, we love our country. You don't love your country. We love our country. Let me tell you when you will love your country. Yeah. The time you think that you tell Obi, make your proposal, mm. send your ideas to the ruling president. Let us see whether he's going to adopt your suggestions that will make him succeed. Instead of fighting for consistency and success of the president, they are looking for his downfall, blackmail. Their campaign, campaign of calumny, singing song of war. And they will not, they, they will not succeed. Tinubu will roll, he will prove, he will contest again and win another one. Write it down. Maybe the indices then will be very bright. Maybe bread will have gone down from 2000. The Rome is not built in a day. Somebody put a Peugeot 504 on the internet the other day. And in the 70s, a Peugeot station was 1700. And you are talking now, of 70s. Yeah, yeah bread you now. You are talking of to, 70s. Uh, it's Tinobu that made it uh, now. Uh -huh. Eight months rule. Uh, okay, sir. Eight months rule. So the indices, I'm talking about the indices. No, that no, 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 tell me eight months rule. Yes. Eight man room. Okay, sir. Rome is not built in a day, it's a gradual process. Yeah. Tinobu is doing his best while he's fighting to make Nigeria better. He's equally fighting to help African nations to succeed in their administration. I want to beg you please, please plead with your friends that Rome is not built in a day. Tinubu will never like Nigeria to be disgraced. He will never like anybody to be hungry or hungry. A president will never want his children to suffer. But you people are provoking a lot of things, not only hunger. You are even promoting war. You can think of how many people will perish if there is war. Who knows who is going to be affected? You don't care. All of those singing war songs, uh, they don't care. No, they may be the, people need food, cheap food. Food, cheap food, food. Food. We share what we food have. Light. Are you have many people, many of you do. In those days, we all have food small food. vegetable farm behind our homes. Now nobody thinks of doing such a thing. Right. Nobody want to go to the market. I want to to, to buy the best, the most expensive. Hmm. And yesterday, yes, sir. I asked my girl to go and cook vegetable. Hmm. I didn't go for that vegetable that I'm going to have this, have that. I asked for the real vegetable. The fresh from farm. From farm. And I told her, wash it very well, boil it very well, and uh, put pepper and oil on the fire. Hmm. It's, it's still there. I can give you a little taste of it. We know that. With little so, money, you can cook good food. Hmm. But all of you that are crying, you don't cook cheap food. You want to keep, keep, cook expensive criminal mm. oriented uh, <laughs> soup. I'm happy you have a wife that is more customary, naturally a Yoruba nice woman who will not like to put you into debt, <laughs> who will like to cook within the limits of the resources that you give to her. Many people don't do that. Mm. They spend the money 
you want to buy this, you buy that. What our mama, they do are not cooking. They now want to cook. Maybe they want this they soon to be rich with all assorted. You want to variables. live like somebody living in London. Mm. You want to spend money like you are having dollar. Mm. And spending dollar is not like spending naira. Mm. Now you will really want to even go to the market to buy. Some of you want to sell on dollar rates. You locally manufacture goods. Mm. Now we are talking about uh, uh, Indomi or this. Yes, all oh, sky spike now. I thank God I'm not an Indomi man. From, I eat gari from four thousand five to I eight thousand five. Even thin of meat from four fifty to eight hundred and fifty. Yes, you're in trouble. Oh, was talking about America. Yeah, not just America. Hmm. Hmm. So, but I want to ask you this question. In 2019, you are so sure that Inubu is coming, sir. How did you see it? Are you a prophet? Or, I mean, or Ibabala Usa? I am, I am a blessing of the Almighty God. Now, how did you see this? I believe in him. He tells me, he shows me many, many things that you people are not obliged to have. Hmm. The last time I came before the election, you said you are going to use the power of your three years in your mother's womb. To I, yes, because God told me and uh, I prayed. Hmm. I spoke to the gods who are solidly behind our tribe, Nigeria, to hmm. succeed. And they now picked a man who wouldn't need to steal any money because he has enough for himself. He will not have to steal any money. And he gets there. You people are keeping him restless turning lives against him, making him sleepless. But I thank God that God is with him. He is taking it easy. Nothing will happen to him because he wants to, he want Nigeria to succeed mm. and do things that will keep Nigeria safe. Mm. Mm. Even the last time I was doing the interview here, you can see that even your cat, Kenny, Supported Peter will be. I love. Yes, sir. Kenny. If you make obedient, now you come out. Obedient. <laughs> Kenny. Did you come out? You come as you come on. You, yeah, come, Kelly. Come, come, come. Yeah. come. Be like, be like. No, because of the, the, na the name you mean. You buy you. Kenny, come. Do it. It's come. obedient. It's obedient. Uh, come on. It's obedient. Come on, over. Kenny, Kenny is obedient. Kenny is obedient. It's a youth, brother. Because when I took it, it came to me. It's very obedient. It's very comfortable because he's shaking his head on my leg. He loves, he loves obi, 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 it. It will eat if I give it food. Kenny, 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 you take, 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 take. Obi, oh yeah, obi, obi, take, obi, take, 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 take now. Wait, what? I don't know. Kenny. It will eat, it will eat, but it's comfortable on my neck, on my leg. No, no, Kenny. No, Kenny. The last time I gave it the, the normal thing he wants. Sadie. Kenny. My cat. Yes. My cat good. has his boot. Yes. In this place. My cat. You are calling the cat. I was calling the cat. Okay, you are calling Let's go. Let's go. He's having his race now. No, let us call him. Let call him. Kenny. Kenny. Ah. So you have to. Kenny. Kenny is coming. Kenny is coming. Yeah, come, come, come. Kenny. Kenny. Come. come. Kenny. Peter will be, Peter will be. Yeah. Come on. Kenny. Yeah, Kenny. 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 Come now. Hey, Kenny. You want to contest? Oh, yeah. We contest Kenny. Now. Oh, we are still on that. Kenny. That's your Peter will be. Yeah, come, come, come. He's coming to me. Kenny. Oh, Kenny. Meow, 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 meow. Kenny, come, come, come on. Kenny, come. Come on. Kenny. Come. 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 Kenny. Come. Ah. It's me that he's coming to. Ah. Kenny. Ah. Kenny. So he has gone back now. Kenny. 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 He's confused. Because, because of the other cats. Ah. You don't confuse anything. Kenny can never support to be like that. <laughs> My dear brother. Yes, sir. I beg you in the name of God. Uh, work for Nigeria. Working for it. 
You are not working for Nigeria. No, I'm working for the good of the. You country. are destroying Nigeria by your position. <laughs> you are a good man. No, we say obedient. Obedient. Yes, no obedient. Yes, no obedient. Not obedient. Yes. I nearly lost my greatest, my best friend that I never would believe will not talk. I lost him because he's supporting Obi. Who is that? You know, Chief Olushegun. I, I don't Sanjo. mention any name. He endorsed Peter Obi. Ah. But Boba Sanjo endorsed. But uh, all of us will respect Boba Sanjo. So how do we do it bad. now? How do we do it? You are a friend of Boba Sanjo. Boba Sanjo is a leader. Are we now? Uh, Boba Sanjo when is same a hand. very, very trusted leader. But I can never support him on the issue of presidency against Tinobu. Tinobu will finish his term, he will run another term. Nothing will happen in Nigeria. This war song that is being drawn all over will never work. Mm. Nigerians are no longer, they are singing the war of hunger. Everybody hears every day, no matter how little. So they are, is it better for them? To go into war without getting any food? Would they have food when there is war? No, we don't pray for war. We never see war. That's, that's, that's not is, our portion. I speak. watch all the programs that they are saying. Like you, I want you to stop talking against. Uh, no, we are not even talking against. We are just saying that. I want you to, to your wife home. Mm, the young people. So, but why did you really, what did you see? Why did you like Bola Why are well, the love? Tinubu is the man that can deliver. I told you before, and you can see the speed with which he has performed within eight months of his rule. Eight months. Eight months of his rule. And you can see the wonder that's happening. But I was we thank God that he took over the rule, the, 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 the presidency. Hmm. If he has not, I don't know what could have happened. Hunger would have finished everybody. Because they had, the, the government that left didn't see the danger that was on ground. But, but the, you know, let me be honest with you. People said what got some people very nerved of was that he came on that very day of his appointment, the day of inauguration, and he said subsidy is gone. A lot of people felt that he should have allowed subsidy to continue for six months so that he can understudy the economy. He doesn't, he doesn't, have, to, he doesn't have to he hide his head. Take he it must out. have studied the situation. I mean, and as a, as, a president, as a president, he must be prepared to face the music. They said he did it on impulse. Tinubu has been in governance. When it was so bad, he faced the president of Nigeria to bring Lagos State up to the level of recognition and serious economic base. Yeah. You are not talking of all those good, good things he did. You are not talking of eight months rule. You are not talking of a man who turned Lagos from nothing to something. You are now talking of eight months. Can you compare anywhere with Lagos? Has any other state done what he did in Lagos? These are the qualities that justify his ascension and his success. People voted for him because he has done it before. You have not listened to uh, the uh, Obi man, the party. They are in crisis of uh, chopping the party's money. I watched the woman chairman against the imposed uh, uh, chairman. I don't want us to start engaging in negative campaigns. Yeah. Let us rally around Tinubu. Let us make our contribution. Tell your man, Obi, to present his own idea. So the government, instead of blackmailing and talking rubbish of the government, oh, blackmail oh, cannot. Yeah. Blackmail cannot go to get anywhere. Yeah. The majority of Nigerians are not ready for war or blackmail. You, can, you have mounted this very serious. You have very good control of the media. But that media campaign cannot work because those who are really involved and planning to see Nigeria through are the villagers. People like me will not ever allow my child to go into war with anybody. We are not going to war. 
We are going. Yeah. It's not a portion. Maybe, what, 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 maybe you don't watch this. Uh, you know. You see, what, what I want to ask is that what are you going to tell ordinary people on the streets? That. What do you think that is going to be there? A lot of people that are crying, like I showed you the other time, crying about food. Am I not crying? Light. Am you I not crying? You're a rich man. You have farm. You have investment. I've sold my farm. So you have a very big farm. You know that they gave me Gary from the farm and yeah. two bars of yam. Where is the, where is the no, farm? Two bars of yam. I am me. telling you now, I've sold the farm because I'm hungry. So that means you're a victim of the. I'm not a victim. System. National I, disaster that's before the fellows. Because Nigerians are not disciplined. They are not ready to do the right thing. They want to hit above their income. You are not ready to live between the level of your income. You are here. If you go to the restaurant now, you want the best meat. Is that cooking your house? Yeah. Yes. Live within the limit of your income. Even people are saying, yes, you are right what you said now. They said, but even the government themselves don't appear to to live within their income. I mean, when the senators are budgeting billions of naira for their vehicles, and the president himself is going, you see the covers of car, almost 40. I mean, I mean, it, it, if you go to Accra, if you go to some other countries, even in Sierra Leone there, you see limited edition of convoy, you can see like four cars or six cars, but you see like 40 cars. So you, that you are preaching moderation, you are preaching so which movement of the president do you see that they have 64 cars following him? Tell me one. Example of his movement that attracted 40, 60 cars. Stop this bad black man. Mm. Tinubu is not a man like that. Tinubu has money. He simply uses his money. Mm. Like people like me are spending a lot of money on this. Now is uh -huh. Look at this is this is Dr. Ruben Abati. Uh, this is the this is the station. station of destruction for no, no, no. Ah, <laughs> Go! 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 Chop up, 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 eh? Chop up. Chop up, chop up. What is it? Again, again, again. This is the end of the convoy now. This is the end. You can see the two security vehicles now passed. Mm -hmm. That's the end of the convoy. So if they are going for a function yeah. within Abuja of 14 Lagos and everybody decided that we should follow the president's uh, convoy and they go to the venue of the event, will you say that the president is going with several cars? See, look at this one. President Tinubu makes history, rising a 120 car convoy. This, yes. Yeah. 120 car convoy. To where? 
was on this what distance? What How many you? kilometer journey? The one I showed you that let I was in Let me show you one. Yeah. We're just trying to cut coat according to the size so that the well, economy can be good for the, us. Just few about a month ago. Yes, sir. There was an event which he opened uh, this foreign airline from where he traveled out of the country. Mm. Will you see that comfort of a large number of people that are going to witness the success of the commissioning of a project in Lagos? Will you see they were just going for fun or for the good? Look at this now. I just want to ask you that people will shout that it didn't power. Organized. No, no, it's uh, this inside the streets, Lagos. This inside the was passing. That's a convoy. Well, look at the crowd. Lady people are saying about three people out of about one thousand people. <laughs> this is the market, this is Lagos market. Look at the crowd. How many folks are you here? Yeah, the security are there. So they I should know that everybody. Nobody is anything to them. Ibn Bawa was what do Ibn Bawa? They have to say it. Ibn Bawa. Yes. Because you see the cause of Ibn Bawa or the overzealousness of your society. This to become what? The convoy, they are going for a function yes, in the town. No, how many people? How many people? We are hearing the voice. The crowd is about the, the crowd is about hundred thousand. So you are met a you are met a one solo. You are met a so you are met a you are met out of hundred hundred thousand. So let, yeah, yeah. What do you say to this Ibn Bawa now, sir? That is your organized noise. Three. Three people talking out of one thousand. I want to the, the military to. were there. They were not afraid of the military. Uh, three people are shouting being power out of one thousand people. <laughs> and you want me to <laughs> think that? Like yeah. mm. <laughs> so, yes, sir. My brother, God will forgive you. Hey, Amen. God will forgive all of us, sir. We know we, you. Need, we need to just help the country. We need you to. And we are destroying the, the country. Yeah, we, we need, we I need want to tell you all, poor, of you, the all of you that are fighting wrongly and falsely are enemies of Nigeria. Oh. Why don't you write to the president that you have, you have oh. this advice? Why doesn't mm. your be write and make public his contribution to redress whatever you perceive to be? Mm. Something you've been done wrong you. So you believe that there's going to be a solution eventually? We have, we, He's already addressing the situation. Mm. Eh? You said something, you said some people are saying, 
uh, all this food at uh, just prices. At just prices. Yes. To mention the cement, Nindumi, and yes. so forth. Samovita, Gary, bread. So egg. Tinubu is the one selling Gary and mm. Samovita. Mm. That's interesting. God will forgive you. God will forgive you. Amen, sir. Sir, what, what, what do you have? What's the prayer for the country? I mean, right now. My prayer for us is for us to help us grant good health, long life, mm. and capacity, added capacity for Timubu to succeed and make Nigeria greater. It's making it great now. Mm. Mm. So, so for the for Tinobu to be able to run the society, to run the society and win those enemies of our nation who do not see anything good in any good days. The last time you came to Lagos, this is still what you said. You've been praying and wishing that. I and mean, we continue to succeed with my own prayer. God gave me. Mm. Go and find out. After after the victory, sir, have you been able to meet him one on one? Because before the election, you were always in Abuja to see the president. Before the election, I was busy campaigning, and traveling. Mm. He has completed this election. He is now doing everything on the possible to make sure the nation is in peace and economically thriving. At my age, I don't need to be running after Tinubu or anybody. I'm not a poor man. If you consider, consider me for anything, he calls me for it. I will stand up to do it. Mm. I am too big you, to be running after the president. All I need to do is to fight for the president mm. and make him succeed. And overthrow those of you that are working against his success. No, we are not. We are just trying to correct. Chief, you see, you know, what we did was that we brought reality to your face so that you can... Are you, people are you? Crying, who are you? Who are you? People are shouting. Who are you? So, who so are that you can... You know, you are an elder statement. You can give, a, you know, a wisdom are you for there? direction, for leadership, as you have been doing over the years. You know, you, you said the man is going to come in and the man is already there. So we want you to keep giving direction. Are you telling me the hundred millions of billions said to have been stolen by your party, by driving away the woman, mm. the woman chairman, is the best thing. Okay, yeah, you're talking yeah. about design? I'm not talking about design. I'm talking about your party. Okay, I, don't, I don't have any party. Uh -uh. Who will use that? Labour Party. Okay, okay, Labour. You're talking about the, there's no, you know, Labour. You are no, 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 we're just we, some of us are obedient, you know. We're obedient to God Almighty and obedient to humanity. You know, be is obedient. That is the language they are using. So there's corruption. Even recently in uh, the Tinubu's government, some ministers have lost their jobs because of Yeah, Tinubu is just and right by sending any corrupt person out of his cabinet. So you cannot you cannot praise sing him for doing such justice to the nation mm. by fighting injustice fearlessly. I, I'm surprised that for the first time you are in the you know in the right wing. You used to be a conservative uh, politician, you know, right for the NKN days as the national policy secretary of the NKN. Over the years, you have always been a conservative. Let me tell you, Nigeria is no longer that kind of thing. Okay. Think right. Anybody that your thinking and your commitment to fall in line with justice and progress, mm. you work with him. I told you Baba Wolo even invited me to his party and government. Okay. I didn't take it. Mm. But I know today, Tinubu is a man to work with. Because he's fighting injustice, he's fighting corruption. He wants to lift Nigeria high. So, for that, I am ready to do anything to get in the hmm. You know, Sean stated at the time you were the chairman of the Tatka Committee of the mm. PDP and you did so well under Olagusi in Ola. mm. What relation are you with the party now? Now it's like that party is now back in power, PDP. Is an arrow. Well, uh, yeah, your, your, yeah, your son, um, Demola Deliki, the son, uh, is not the governor. That is not the story to talk here. You mm. don't know the secrets. Mm. Mm. That is power. Yes, sir. 
Minority power. Minority. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> so what's the relationship with them? They are my children. Mm. I have nothing against them. It's the battle of father. We are talking politics is different from relationship. Mm. So Debala is my boy. Demala is my boy, is the governor of my state. I made his, his, his brother the governor. I sent him, I worked to make him get a Senate. And he did. So they are lucky. Their father has paid a lot before he died. Hmm. So, and they are lucky to have benefited from the legacy of their father. Hmm.